Welcome to the World Hero News for the 27th of August, 2024. Holy Spirit, show us what we need to hear in spiritual news today. The Lovers and the Page of Cups. Five of Swords. Somebody really wants to get into a relationship with another person and they are throwing a tantrum about it, possibly. 54 could be significant. This person could actually be 54 or even born in 54 and they're acting like a child. Somebody could be a Gemini specifically. Gemini Cancer could be significant. 545 could also be significant. Somebody could be seeing mirroring numbers. Something's about to change. This person keeps fighting to get what they want, a particular person. Again, this is related to yesterday's reading. There is a very childish person who wants to be in a relationship with a psychic or a tarot reader, a witch. The 17th of February could be significant. The witch could be an Aquarius with Pisces in their chart or Cancer. The 17th of June could be significant to a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Pisces, or a Cancer. Could be getting married, or somebody wants to marry them. Oh my God, look, we've got 54 and 56. So there could be an older man, somebody in their 50s or in their 70s. Or late 60s who wants to marry a psychic or a tarot reader this man could be a Virgo the two people could be one of these signs here could be Leo too somebody could be on the cusp of Virgo and Leo or Aquarius and Pisces or Gemini and Cancer Ten of Cups, somebody could be in a relationship already. So there's an older person here, male or female, who wants to marry a person who's already married, possibly. Doesn't have to be. This person won't give up. That's the message I'm getting here, that the person won't give up. This could be somebody who watches readings a lot. This person could be watching certain readers or a particular reader. Anyway, the fool wants to come out. Again, somebody's very childish and very foolish. Could be an Aries too. Aries, Taurus, cusp possibly. Again, this could be a cusper or this is a whole collective of people who are on the cusp of two signs doing something similar. This man saying I'm your twin flame to someone, to a queen of cups, the queen of his heart. This could be a water sign possibly. Or again, this is an intuitive. Six of pentacles. He says he wants an equal give and take here. But then we've got Ten of Wands and the Tower. The 16th of October could be significant Libra season. Aquarius and the Fire signs could be significant. And Earth signs. There are multiple men like this. These are men who have been single for a very long time because they are very difficult men. Nobody can deal with them for a long time. But they're obsessed with getting married right now. Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. 77 or 75 could be significant. Some of these men could be born in the 70s or maybe they are in their 70s. 62 could be significant. Somebody could be 62. The Hierophant, these men are in charge of something. Some of these men could be priests, preachers, teachers spiritual leaders of some sort four of cups 
44 could be significant. Somebody could be 44, or maybe they're born in 44. These are some very established men. Somebody could be a Taurus specifically or a fixed sign. Aries, Taurus, Cusp, like I said. Forty-seven. They could be in their forties. They could be born in the forties. Two of Swords. Their happiness is blocked, or they're blocked from happiness. It could be these men's karma to never find love. The Wheel of Fortune. Yes, somebody's karma. Somebody's fortune. Something about the fortune teller. So, oh yeah, the devil and the wheel of fortune. Somebody's fated to suffer. Somebody made a lot of money. All these cards talk about a very wealthy person. This person's been doing witchcraft. This is a warlock. This is an older man who's a warlock who's been manifesting a lot of abundance using the devil yes and he's fated to go there nine of cups wish fulfillment yes knight of cups wow so now in their old age they want to get married all of a sudden Somebody might uh, be sorry that they focus so much on their material wealth rather than love. 947 could be significant, 94 or 47. Some of these men could be born in the 90s, others in the 70s, look, 99, 94 or 99, or Something has been happening since 94 or 99 because again, I'm getting some older men mainly. Ace of Cups, 17 or 71 is here again. So these men have been hurting a lot of people and now all of a sudden they want love or they want to love someone or somebody to love them, somebody to pray for them so they don't go there. Two of Cups, yes. So an older man or some older men want to get married now. But it's blocked again. That's exactly what I was saying. Blocked from happiness. Blocked from love. 31 or 13 could be significant. The 13th to the 31st of August could be significant here. Something about Virgo season or a Virgo. Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's watching another person as they work. So again, this is somebody who's watching a tarot reader and wants to marry the tarot reader. But this is a very low vibrational man and the tarot reader knows it. So that's why there's a blockage here. King of Swords, yes, it's true. Again, this could be an air sign male. Or an earth sign. I said an earth sign. Yeah, it could be an earth sign, but this is Aries, which is a fire sign. There are multiple men like this. These men are sorry. There we go. Fire could be Leo, Aries, an air sign. They're all sorry because they focused on the wrong thing when they were younger. 33 could be significant. The High Priestess reversed, the Hermit reversed, the Star reversed, the Five of Wands reversed, and the Five of Swords reversed. This number 55 keeps coming through. Look, 555. Five, five. Somebody could be seeing 55 or 555 five, five because there are a lot of changes happening in somebody's life. These people used to be in the upright. Somebody's been doing a lot of witchcraft and divination with these cards here 
Pisces, Virgo, and Aquarius could be significant. Or these men have been seeing a lot of psychics and tarot readers, getting the psychics and the tarot readers, the witches, to do things for them so they can manifest abundance. Or this represents these people. These people have been doing this for abundance. And now everything is in reverse. If these people were very wealthy, very renowned, they're not going to be anymore. Five, 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 things are changing rapidly for a group of people. Could be free people in particular. We've got these free characters, the older men. We've got these free, the witches, warlocks, whatever they are here. And the free men in the lover's card. So there could be free men in particular, or this is a group of men who are part of the same cult or coven. These could be Satanists. Something's happening to the Satanists who have been manifesting abundance their whole life by using demonic entities. Ace of Pentacles, there's a new beginning. Something's going to happen very quickly. Somebody's under judgment. Or these people are about to be under judgment because we're in judgment times, we're in revelation times now, or we're about to be. The lovers, number 666 could be significant, something about the year 1966, the 6th of June, or a 66 year old could be significant here. Three of Wands and the Chariot, something's coming very quickly. Something's about to change very drastically and very quickly. The Empress, 73 could be significant. Somebody could be 73 or born in 73. King of Cups. So there's a man who's in charge of a group, this wealthy man. A wealthy, powerful man is about to be under judgment and everyone working with him, this could be a cult leader. The leader of a secret society, possibly. Three of Cups. 35 or 53 could be significant. Yes. King of Pentacles. There's a leader here who's about to go down. The Empress. This could even be a mother figure. This could be an older woman. The kings can represent older women, too. Could be that both men and women are under judgment. Men and women who have been a part of these cults. These secret societies. They're about to go down. They're about to lose everything. Three of pentacles, five of pentacles. Again, 35 or 53 is very significant here. Four of Swords, somebody's ill. Queen of Wands. They are falling ill. These leaders only care about material things, are falling ill. Health is wealth. They're losing their wealth and their health, or one of them. Ten of Cups. Somebody could be losing a family. Or again, somebody has given up on love for wealth, material abundance. And now they want love. Yes, Page of Cups. This very emotionally stunted older man wants love now. Yes, look at this. Wow. But they're willing to break up somebody else's marriage. They want somebody to become single so they can be with this person. That's what I'm getting here. Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces could be significant here. Six of Cups, Temperance, Strength. Sagittarius and Leo are coming through again. There's a Sagittarius doing something with a Leo. The 14th of August is here again. And the 8th of August, the 8-8 portal. 
somebody's been doing something throughout August. Two people, could be two females, have been doing something against another throughout the month of August. The 6th, the 8th, and the 14th of August could be significant. Justice, 11. So these two could be brought to justice for whatever they've been doing. Nine of Pentacles, nine one one, nine eleven. These two women, these could be two women, a Sagittarius and a Leo, who could be arrested for something or they're under judgment. Queen of Wands, yes, two fire sign females are under judgment here because they were doing something against a divine feminine, a mother, a married woman, however this goes. The 14th of March is here too. 33 could be significant. So two women have been trying to tear another woman down. Yes, it's true. Knight of Swords to the Knight of Cups. So these two have been attacking somebody who has been loving to them and kind and caring to them. Somebody who actually is a friend to them. They've been trying to break this person's heart. So some very aggressive women have a beef with a woman who actually cares about them for some reason. 36 or 63 could be significant. One of these women could be 36 or they all are 36 or 63. Ten of Swords, yes, this was a betrayal. Two women betrayed another. Death, they're trying to take this woman out. The Moon and Death, they were doing death spells. Moon magic and death spells on this other woman. And it's coming back to them. You see how the Moon is on top of Temperance and Death is on top of Strength? They're going down. The same way they wanted this other woman who cares about them to go down. The hangman, they were trying to sacrifice this woman. Yeah, tower moment. Hangman to the tower moment. The lovers, they could have been trying to break up somebody's relationship. Or their relationships are about to end because of whatever they've been doing. Three of cups, 33 is here again. Six of wands, queen of cups. Again, these women have been trying to sacrifice a woman who's loving and caring or who cares about them. And now, Eight of Swords, they're getting karma for this. And the woman they were attacking is getting something good. They're about to witness how this woman is getting blessed in their face after they tried to sacrifice her, possibly for abundance. The world, 21, something's over here. A cycle is over here, the 21st of December. That was the winter solstice. These women could have done something on the winter solstice. There could also be somebody with this birthday involved in this situation. That's Capricorn season. Six of Swords. And then we've got the 21st of June, which is the summer solstice. So these women do rituals during the solstice and probably the equinox too. They keep doing moon magic and season magic and death magic. Four of pentacles because they're greedy. They're sacrificing people for money. Queen of swords, yes. They're ready to cut their friends' throats for money. Two of wands. They're watching somebody, they've been watching somebody and doing witchcraft on the person. They're watching Nine of Swords attacking this person's mind. They're doing mind control magic and waiting to see the results. They could be doing this to an earth sign. Could be a tarot reader, doesn't have to be. They could be doing this on an earth sign's whole family. There we go. They're not laughing anymore, are they?
Okay. What else? Rejection. So somebody is stuck in heartbreak while others are getting love. There are two women in particular who are really messed up right now for trying to steal energy and love from others while sacrificing them. So again, two women are being highlighted, two women in particular. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Again, one or both of these women could be a fire sign. Three of Pentacles and the Emperor. These women could have actually been working with a man, free. Three people were working together, two women and a man. Or these women were trying to attack a man and his family. Knight of Swords, Four of Swords. The High Priestess reversed. They were trying to take out a High Priestess, a psychic or somebody who knows something about them. Two of Cups. They wanted to end this person's relationship or the possibility to get into a relationship. 72 or 27 could be significant. Today is the 27th. Somebody could have been planning something for today. Like I was saying, somebody's about to get hurt today. But I think it's the women who have been plotting against somebody else. They could be getting hurt by the very man they were plotting with, whoever these women are. Yes, Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody needs to separate. They need to divorce before they're over, their life is over. So one of these women is in a relationship with someone and that person is a danger to them. They need to get away from that person before that person hurts them. That's what I'm getting here. They've been focusing on messing somebody else up and they're about to be messed up themselves. What's happening today, please? What's happening today, the 27th of August? The hanged man, the emperor, again with this um, masculine, this married man or... This man who's in charge of the group. There's a man in charge of this group. This man's about to sacrifice these women who have been doing something with him or for him. The leader of the group is about to sacrifice them because they couldn't sacrifice the intended victim. The 12th of November or the 11th of December could be significant. Scorpio or Sagittarius. A Pisces and a Libra could be sacrificed by this man who's in charge of the group. Or a fire sign or fire signs, yes. Who's the emperor, please? This is the wealthy man. There's a wealthy man who's been getting people to do something. Ten of Wands. He's a burden. He's also burdened. And he's about to get rid of some of his burdens. So the whole thing got blocked. Again, he's trying to hide. This could be a fire sign or an earth sign or somebody on the cusp of a fire sign and an earth sign who's trying to hide. They're trying to get away with what they've been doing. So they're getting rid of their acolytes, possibly. Page of Cups. This man... This could be the man I was talking about yesterday who has some kind of romantic obsession. Who's this man? Let's see, who's this man to the intended victim? Who's the man? Who's this man to the intended victim? Again, this could be somebody's own family member. It could be somebody's father or husband or an ex-husband. Ten. Look, ten of cups. This talks about family. This is a family member to someone. This family member has been using other people to attack someone. Could be somebody who's in the public eye in one way or another. The Empress wanted to come out too. So this is somebody's mother or father. 
queen of wands, queen of swords, an air sign or a fire sign. Again, yes, these are family members. There's one family member in particular, yes, it's true, who's been getting other people to attack. 35 or 53 is here again. This person could be 35 or 53. They could be born in 1935 or 1953. Nine of Cups, yes. Somebody's parent or a parental figure, an elder in their family, a family member, absolutely. So the family members trying to get rid of the people they were collaborating with because they're not doing their job. It's not working. Whatever they're doing is not working against their family member. Five of Wands and the Lovers reversed. Exactly. So a whole group of people got together to help this woman or this man, this family member, this ex, whoever this is. Could be a business owner too, could be somebody's former employer, but I think it's more likely a family member, to be honest. With the lovers reversed, the lovers are being sacrificed. The lovers are on top of the hangman now. The number 126th, 126th, that sounds like, um, like a group of people. Hundreds of people could have been involved here. Somebody could have involved hundreds of people in their gang stalking, possibly. So this person could be planning to sacrifice hundreds of people. Or this is an address, 126, the 12th of June, Gemini season, or the 6th of December, Sagittarius season could be significant. Again, the leader of the group is sacrificing their acolytes. Five of Wands to the lovers reversed, yes. This person doesn't love them anymore. The Magician, number one and ten of swords. This woman or this man is doing death spells on their acolytes now. Look, ten, ten. It's over. Page of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, they're doing poverty spells and death spells on someone. Wow. But again, they're no longer doing it against the person they were doing it against. They're doing against the acolytes now. They're getting rid of the people who were collaborating until they blab. Because some people could be ready to blab about what's been going on here. Yes, it's true, Ace of Pentacles. Either these people are getting paid or they could be getting paid by somebody who has more money or they are getting another opportunity here. The birds are really crazy outside. 51, somebody could be 51 or born in 51. So some people in their 50s, 60s and 70s are involved here. Some elders in a person's family. Wow. Gossip. People are fighting, they're quarreling. The people who are working together are now quarreling a lot over what's happening. The gate 20. This is judgment. These people are all under judgment for the manipulation they've been doing. The 20th of January. Somebody did something last year or at the beginning of this year. They were hoping to get rid of someone this year and they all did a spell together to get rid of this person. Strength, Leo energy, August. The 2nd of August could be significant. Somebody was hoping that the person would croak or get sick by the 2nd of August. But with strength and the high priestess, it could be that the person they were attacking knew what's happening. And they were stronger than this whole group of people. The Hermit reversed Ten of Cups. So either this is a Virgo who's doing something low vibrational, an elder, or somebody was trying to turn a Virgo in reverse. A family member of theirs or a whole family. So 
So one person's been stronger than their whole family. We've got four of wands, the devil, and the ten of cups. Yes, this is karmic family with the devil to the ten of cups. Four of wands, ten of cups, talks of a happy family. But then we've got the devil in the middle here. So either this family was demonizing one particular person who could be a high priestess, could be somebody in the spiritual community online, and this family were saying that this person works with the devil, but they were actually working with the devil. It's being rejected. The offering they made is being rejected. It's not working. This person won't die. They're trying to kill a person. A family is trying to kill a person in their family. Yes, Ace of Wands is true. Again, 20 of January, 16, the tower. They've been trying to cause a tower moment to this person. Again, the 16th of February is here. Somebody's been doing multiple things throughout the year, multiple spells on this person. <sighs> the Wheel of Fortune. But this person is very fortunate and very strong. This person will prevail here, no matter how much people have been attacking them. We've got the Wheel of Fortune with the Six of Wands. So the person's having a victory against this whole family. Yeah, somebody's been waging war in secret on a family member of theirs. Five of Cups, now they're sorry. The Emperor, somebody's mother. Again, this could be somebody's mother who's been going against them. And now they're sorry. Interesting. King of Cups, again, this is an elder in the family. The Page of Pentacles and the King of Cups, somebody much older than this person has been doing this. Somebody who's been pretending to be helpful. This could be a father, a grandfather, a mother, a grandmother. Somebody who's supposed to care about them. Somebody much older than them who should know better, basically. Yes, it's true. That's what it is. Six of Cups. This is somebody's child. Somebody has been attacking, trying to kill their own child, who could be somebody in the spiritual community, or somebody who is very spiritual or religious. Somebody who doesn't work for the devil, like they do. 